Hello and welcome to this video about our new module, the Arcarion. The Arcarion is a fully featured analog synth voice module with digital control over patch routing. That means that the sounds in this synthesizer are randomly switched. Now I will go over its features and explain what they'll do. First of all, we have a MIDI interface with a TRS MIDI input and a gate and pitch output. Now the gate from the MIDI interface is normaled to the gate input of our envelope generator. The envelope generator features a rise and fall parameters, can work as looping mode or LFO, as normal envelope where you will need a gate input and a gated looping mode where it only loops as long as the gate is active. Next we have our modulation section here, where we have one random voltage generator indicated by this little LEDs. The random voltage is triggered by the same input of the envelope generator, which means that if you are in the looping mode, if you take its output, patch it to the input, it will generate a random voltage for every cycle. Next we have two voltage controlled LFOs, each with its own knob for the frequency, a frequency CV input and its outputs. The frequency of modulation 2 is about four times slower than the frequency of the modulator 1. Next we have the main section of our audio generation, two VCOs. With the first one with this pitch input, fine-tune, exponential and linear FM inputs. VCO2 also has the tune, fine-tune and a special waveform selection knob where you can blend between sine wave, triangle wave and saw wave. This VCO also has exponential FM and a true zero FM input. Next we have the AUX knob, which controls the volume for an internal patched signal, which can be one waveform from VCO1 selecting between sine, triangle and ramp waves, or its internal noise generator, either white noise or filtered. Next up we have our VCF, which is a multi-mode VCF. You can switch between filter modes with this button here. Now, right now we are in low pass mode. High pass. Band pass. And all pass filter modes. It also has the Q knob, which translates to the resonance of the VCF. And CV inputs for frequency and resonance. The final part of our audio generation is the delay, with its mix control from 0% to 100% delay signal, a feedback control and the time. You will notice that with longer times, 
it starts to introduce some glitch effects. Which can be a crucial part to the sound design of this module. It also features a CV input for the time control, which can lead to very interesting results. Now to the final digital part of that module. First of all we have our DNA sequence, represented by the colorful LED circle, with the expression knob in the middle, that is indicated by the white lights in the middle, which also features a CV input. which is normal by either mod 1 or mod 2. This DNA sequence can now be randomized with the press of the button. This will introduce a completely new patch where internal modulation in some of the audio is completely randomized. This means you have a completely new sound, like this. Now let's say you created a patch that you liked and you want to save it. To that, hold the save button and press the desired save slot in your selected bank. You have 8 banks, indicated by the different colors. And 8 save slots per bank. Let's press save. And save to the second save slot of that purple bank. Now we filled the purple bank with eight different patches. We can now always select them and jump back to our previously created patches. Now we can also use, for example, a sequencer or any other voltage to scan through those saved patches. Now we can also use our gate, patch it into the random trigger input to create a new patch for every node played. Now let's say we want to have the envelope always going to the filter frequency. So we can take the envelope, patch it to our filter frequency, and no matter the change of our DNA sequence, we will always stay as this fixed routing.